Nashville. This is the CBS Midday News with Douglas Edwards. Good day from the CBS Newsroom in New York. John Caulfield, the former White House aide, testified before Senate investigators for the second time this morning. Yesterday, he described his role as a messenger carrying offers of executive clemency from the White House to Watergate burglar James McCord. Those offers, he said, came from John Dean, the White House counsel. Today, under questioning by Senator Lowell Weicker, Caulfield described his mixed feelings about his mission at the time he was asked to carry it out. As my statement indicates, I imposed upon my friend to do it, hoping that all parties would be satisfied. I was not successful. I was brought back in again to it, now being asked to see Mr. McCord directly I did go to see him. Now I'm becoming further implicated into this matter. I had this conversation with John Dean, who's the counsel to the president. I've been there three years. I know what the relations are and how they exist. I make certain judgments based upon those relationships. In my mind, I felt that the president probably did know about it. Now I'm going out the door to be, become more specific. And it crossed my mind that this conceivably was for the president. I believed it. I had to think about that. And based upon all of those, that background, I believed I was doing something for the president of the United States. And I did it, sir. In addition to Caulfield, another former New York policeman testified this morning, Anthony Ulasewicz. He told about making anonymous phone calls to McCord on behalf of Caulfield, even though he testified he never knew McCord. Jack, so something special. Oh, yeah. Leave it to me. Nearly always notices a bag of Kraft caramels. Thanks, Mom. The countdown resumed at Cape Kennedy this morning for Friday's launch of the three astronauts. That countdown was halted eight hours after the liftoff of Skylab nine days ago when all sorts of trouble had developed. Astronauts Conrad, Kerwin, and Weitz still hope to get off the ground Friday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. They have to do some repairs on the outside of the Skylab. Then, if everything goes well, they still could complete a 28-day flight. The Navy reports that the nuclear attack submarine Sturgeon uh, struck bottom in the Atlantic off the Virginia Virgin Islands today. There was minor structural damage, according to the Navy, but no injuries among the crew of 120. Henry Kissinger and Hanoi's Le Duc Tho conferred for the sixth time today on how to get the Vietnam ceasefire to work, and Kissinger said it may be their last session. The presidential advisor also said that he'd probably return to Washington tonight. Kissinger's top aide, William Sullivan, arrived in Saigon from Paris today to consult with President Thieu about the latest talks. That's the news. Good day from New York. This has been the CBS Midday News with Douglas Edwards. Detail coverage on the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Bob Lutz meets Arthur Ashe in a first-round match on the CBS Tennis Classic. Enjoy all...